y'all and welcome to my channel. I am Brianna Keyshell and today we are going to be doing a collage and create with me. Right now I'm flipping through my January setup and you can find that on my page. I'll link it, I'll link it up in the cards and down in the description. Uh, before we get started real quick, I would like to tell you guys about what's been going on lately. Okay, so I did try to do a bullet journal, like a real, for real, for real bullet journal, where you draw everything out and you plan and things like that. And I was at one point going to do a video on it. It's in this journal right here. Isn't this cute? Um, but I don't know if I'm going to. I, I really don't know because I'm over it. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my name right here for my Instagram handle, it's I am Brianna Keyshell. I've changed it a few times, but I think I'm sticking with that one. I am Brianna Keyshell. I did a short on it on this page because I adore this page. I love this page, it's so cute. It shows my evolution in creating a page, especially with the washi tape. I um, We are on to a good start for this year, me and washi tape. And it's so cute, but then, you know, Future log is a future log. It's cute. Um, you got the Dutch doors for important dates, and and I mean I did set up one week because this is how my daily planner looked in my kit life planner. Um, I just threw it away actually because it's done. But it was a super huge, like as far as thick, it was a really thick planner. It was kind of small. It was probably a little bit actually it was probably this size but it was really thick because it was called what's called a daily planner and they give you one full page for a day of to-do list I'm a to-do list person I always was a to-do list person even before bullet journaling <laughs> was a thing like back where I was in college I would just write I would have a box with a task to do and then if I did it I would check it off if not I would just literally move it to the next day so I've been bullet journaling for a long time now anyway the point is I don't think I need to draw out my own planners because I can find a planner that suits me all of that to say I tried bullet journaling okay I did I didn't get far <laughs> I didn't get far because I think that I would much rather benefit from structured diaries <laughs> or something to track my habits and track my progress and things like that like as far as work planning to do list things like that, I can find something for me so this I mean with that being said this isn't necessarily a bullet journal the only thing that makes it a bullet journal is the fact that it's on a dotted it's in a dotted journal and that's about it oh and if you are new to my channel hi my name is Brianna Keyshell and I have um three journals that I maintain. So I have actually four. This is my bullet journal. This is my prayer journal. I have a setup for this one as well. And this is my weight loss journal. So these are my three. And then I have one that I maintain for my mama. Yeah, so I maintain four journals, um, three for me and one for my mom. So I, I said that to say like, know what you're getting in for too when you're watching my channels. Hopefully it still inspires you to maybe add a few of these pages to your bullet journal if you're one of those people who mixes both, you know, or like one of the color schemes or any themes that I do. I really hope that you guys can still get inspiration from it, but I don't want you to be misled. So with that being said, I'm gonna stop talking live now and I'm gonna throw you back into the voiceover. Okay, so this is my first creating collage video of 2023, and I am extremely excited to be sharing this with you guys. Um, as I was planning or as I was going through the magazines looking for pictures for this collage, I already had a color scheme in mind. Now that's not always the case. Sometimes I just kind of flip through old Pinterest pictures or I'll flip through the magazines that I do have um, that are almost scraps now because I've cut them up so badly. But sometimes I'll just flip through them and see what pictures speak to me. But I have been in like this green mood. I am loving greenery. I am loving using the color green for January. I don't know what it is, but green is my color for this month. So I used all of my magazines to look through for green backgrounds. So I was looking for large, large pictures of something green. 
Right here, I'm just shuffling through all of the Pinterest pictures that I picked out for my January spread just to show you guys how many pictures I have left over and to see if I wanted to use any of those pictures. I am going to use one, I think, and I'm going to use two, but that's about it. Everything else I did get out of a magazine and I have various different magazines. I have a Vogue magazine, an In Style magazine, a Sheen magazine, S-H-E-E-N, an Allure magazine, as well as an Essence magazine with Michelle and Barack Obama on the cover. So I have a lot of different types of magazines. Oh, and I have a magazine called The Knot. It is basically a magazine that comes out once a quarter, I think. And it's about the weddings of that season, the dresses that are in style. At one point, I was really into weddings and I remember exactly where I was when I bought that magazine. And now that I have it, I'm just like, now I have to figure out what to do with it because that was a long, long time ago. And I have not used as much of that magazine as you would think. But speaking of that magazine, the picture on the left hand side is from the magazine, The Knot. It is showcasing a beautiful, background for a reception I think um, the picture that I'm posting right here is also from the knot it was for like a place setting or something it had a lot of greenery on it and then the picture below it that I um, kind of cut in half don't remember where I got that from but the point is that it had a lot of greenery in that picture and that's all that mattered so Right now, I am kind of tearing up the insides of those pictures so that they don't crinkle and fold up in my journal. And that's all I did there. I wish that I could have gotten a very crisp line. I tried to, but it went over the seam and it started to bend back onto the picture on the left hand side and I didn't like it. So I just ripped it off and it's fine. So as I said, I've already gone through the magazines um, while I was watching things on YouTube, watching my favorite shows, and just kind of picking out some pictures that were green. And now I'm just cutting everything out pretty loosely. I don't know if I'm going to use all of it at this point. I'm just cutting it out in the shapes that they are going around the silhouette of the flowers and trees that I may want to use. I also cut out that word essential because it was in green and it just stood out to me because I liked the design inside of the letters. I also have a picture of some ear earrings that are eyeballs, <laughs> which I thought were really cute. Um, I cut out a picture of Tracy Ellis Ross. They did a spread for her in one of the magazines that I have and she had on that green dress and I love Tracy Ellis Ross, so I cut that out. Now I'm going to cut out this Balenciaga bag um, that is covered in florals. And I'm also going to cut out that green wrap dress in the velvet, I think. It kind of looks like a robe dress type of thing. I don't know, but it was cute and it was green. So like I was saying for this spread, I am obviously going with a color scheme. There are many, many different ways you can do collages i have a few videos on my channel if you would like to look at them or anybody on youtube about collaging um it's really just about how you feel like i said i was in a mood to use mainly all green some days i'm just in a mood to use just black and white or look for pictures that match the feeling that i'm going for um and then i write on it if you know, I want a quote or something like that. So it's up to you. But I think what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to be doing a monochromatic scheme for some of my months. So that is what inspired this page. Now, arranging everything on the page is where it gets a little bit tricky for me sometimes because there are some things that I want to make sure are still seen. Um, for instance, at this point, I want to make sure that I can still see the bow on this dress that I'm kind of cutting out right now. I want to make sure I see that. Obviously, I want to make sure I see Tracy Ellis Ross's entire outfit. I was trying to make sure some of the background peeked through, like maybe she was attending a wedding. I don't know. A lot of thoughts are, was running through my mind and I was just trying to figure out how I wanted it to look. 
So at this point, I'm kind of just playing around with all of these pieces. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put the bag. So the thing is, I like the background for how it is. And I have to keep reminding myself during this process that the background is just that. It's the background, unless I want to make it the focus of my collage. But I want it certain other elements to be the focus like Tracy Ellis Ross I wanted this word to kind of be a focus but not in the foreground all the way necessarily and I also wanted to focus on the design of the purse so that is the struggle that I'm working with right now is remembering that the background is just that it's just a background and I can't put stuff over it um I think that's the best part also about the background being in large, large pieces is that it's not as busy. So when I put something busy on top of it, like this purse or like these eyeballs, it doesn't take too much away from what I put in the foreground. So I am going to go ahead and start taping these things down on the left. I kind of know where I want to put everything. Um, still debating it a little bit but for the most part I know where I'm gonna put it I am using that little tape roller I don't really know how to what to call it but this is my first time using it and I had heard so many horror stories about it like the runner getting caught or the tape being immediately permanent so you can't move things around I had heard a few horror stories about that little thing so this is my first time using it and so far it's it's okay I like it um I don't know if I'll keep buying it I'll just have to see how it goes but I did notice that my bullet journal from last year didn't close very well because I was using the liquid glue and it was making my pages wrinkle I can't tell you how long it took me to find out why my bullet journal was not closing um, because I did collages all through the first half of the year and that first bullet journal was fine. And then all of a sudden, the second half of the year, my bullet journal wouldn't close. It literally, it was stuck open, like it would not close. Um, and I think that's because I was using the liquid glue for the second half and then I was using glue sticks earlier on in the year so now I'm going back to adhesive that is not liquid and does not make my pages wrinkle so that my bullet journal will be able to close or my wellness journal whatever you'd like to call it Okay, so now that I'm mostly done gluing everything down, I am going to be using a black pen and my gold gel pen to add some details to the pictures. So right now I'm just really outlining the um, seams of their garments. So I'm using gold on this green robe that's in the background because the thread was gold in the picture. And then I use black on Tracy Ellis Ross's pants suits or jumpsuit I think it's a pantsuit it's a pantsuit two-piece pantsuit yeah <laughs> so um if you guys I, I think I was talking through this part but I tried to add some pictures from this bundle of planner pictures or excuse me I tried to add some stickers from this sticker pack that's used for planners and the background is clear, which means the words don't stand out as much. And I used two of them. And one of them you can see over there on the left if you look really hard. But I mean, you really can't see it. So never mind. And then this one over here on the right hand side, you can't see that well either. Because again, the background was clear and the words were in gold. But the one on the right hand side said, let joy be your compass. And I just thought that was so cute. So I decided to write it on a piece of paper that had a design on it. And I got this piece of paper from Pinterest. So I had cut it out earlier in the month and just kind of tucked it off to the side. And that's what I used to write that quote on. Now I'm going through and just putting some washi tape down as another part of the background. So um, this washi tape I did get from Amazon. It is a little see-through, like it's a little bit more sheer than I would have liked. So sometimes the uh, 
the floral designs are hard to see. So I laid down a green strip of washi tape and then I laid the floral washi tape on top of it so that you could see the floral. Now I didn't put it exactly on top of the green washi tape. Um, there is a little bit of space shown and I think that gives the background some texture. And then I glued down that piece of paper. I'm going to end these spreads off with some circle stickers that I also got from Amazon and I'm in love with these stickers. They have every single color. I am in love. Once I'm done with that, I am going to do a little bit more doodling. I'm going to add some gold sparkles to the right hand side and then I'm going to go back in on the left hand side with my black pen and go over some of the leaves and the vines and things in the background. And then I'll be wrapping it up from there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this process. It is sped up. All in all, this probably took about an hour to do um, because I was very indecisive with some things, but that's about average. It does usually take me about an hour to put this together. Um, I do like how it turned out. I really am really enjoying my collage style and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.